All right, here we are, guys. Um, we're on step three of the Geotech Barracuda Revision A Pulse Induction Metal Detector. Uh, it's uh, this step three is consists of the transmit oscillator. Um, you can see the parts that we're going to place onto the printed circuit board right here. Um, after those are placed on the board, if you don't have a oscilloscope available, then you can take a high impedance speaker between pin four of the Hex Schmidt oscillator and zero volts, and you should hear a, a tone. Um, I'll, I'll do that, and I'll also hook the oscilloscope up so you can see what that looks like. Uh, we're going to go from pin 4 of the Hexmit os uh, oscillator for channel 1 and pin 7 of the LT1054 for channel 2. And we'll just skip over here to take a look at the diagram, if I can find it here. A couple more. Here we go, transmit oscillator. Um, you can see the Hex Schmidt oscillator, uh, diodes, the various capacitors involved, resistors. So these are all the parts that we're going to place, and we'll show you that in the upcoming video clip. All right, guys, step three of the Barracuda Pulse Induction DIY project. Going to do a little bit of soldering here, and hopefully I have a better performance than what I did yesterday. So, got a couple of uh, film capacitors right here. I bought most of my stuff from Tata this time, saved a little bit, we'll see how it works. I'm going to clip these off, if I can find my clippers in my mess here. A little too much solder, but... I'm not going to worry too much about it. And I will solder this dip socket on and then test some more components. Get my leaded solder fumes out of here. And let's see. Clean my tip off. It's a challenge when you can't see as well as you used to. And my hands aren't steady either anymore. But That's what it is to get older. Yes. The 
they say you're supposed to solder these things not in a linear fashion to cut down on the amount of heat sometimes I remember and sometimes I don't last one getting any heat there. There we go. And those actually look fairly good. And that's it for this segment. Alright guys, here we are at step three of the Barracuda PI project. And this is the transmit oscillator. So I've got you zeroed in on the oscilloscope and I'm going to get on channel 1 onto pin 4 of the 4106 there we go and pin 7 of the LT1054 there we go so that's what that looks like And now I'll give you a shot of what the board looks like so far. And I'll hook up a high impedance speaker so you can hear that. Okay, so this is what the board looks like so far. Um, and we're still on step three. So we will hook up this high impedance speaker and you should be able to hear a tone all right so that might be helpful for you those of you who don't have an oscilloscope yet um, that just enables us to know that the transmit oscillator is working and we can go on to the next step.